Atrial fibrillation is a very common condition in the world today. It's a condition where the small chambers of the heart wriggle irregularly instead of contracting in a regular manner. When it begins, it can happen suddenly and you can feel a rapid heartbeat, palpitations. It can be quite frightening. It can make you breathless. It can make you dizzy. The problem with atrial fibrillation is that over the course of time, it becomes persistent and then eventually it becomes permanent. And it can create heart valve problems, particularly the mitral valve can start to leak over the course of time as the atria stretch. And also it can create heart failure and stroke. Stroke because these wriggling chambers are prone to developing clots. And I'll talk about that in a moment. And these clots can fly off into the circulation and create a clot embolus in the brain arteries. This means that in the long term, you will always need blood thinners if you are in atrial fibrillation. And of course, for a long time, we've really, as doctors, wanted to find a way to eradicate atrial fibrillation be be before it becomes permanent. Now, if you've got paroxysmal atrial fibrillation on and off, on and off, on and off, and medicines don't control it well, then we can do something called catheter-based ablation, where we pass a catheter through the groin and we look at areas within the heart to literally either injure with heat or with cold energy to try and reduce these irritable foci. When it becomes persistent, treatment strategies are not so effective. Surgery is really good for this, but people really don't like the idea of a breastbone break, going on a heart-lung machine to undergo a treatment called the maze procedure, uh, a very complex procedure where we literally draw electrical isolation lines all over these chambers to try and stop the communication of these irregular foci with one another to try and get the chambers to beat more regularly. Now, of course, more recently, keyhole-based techniques have been used to treat both persistent and permanent AF. A new treatment called convergent AF therapy has emerged. This is now very evidence-based through randomized controlled trials and demonstrates very effectively that the combination of keyhole surgery and catheter-based therapies can increase the likelihood of keeping patients who have persistent atrial fibrillation in a regular heart rhythm. Now what this means is this, it means that the, the patient with persistent atrial fibrillation who is suitable for the treatment will undergo a general anaesthetic where a small cut is placed underneath the breastbone and a catheter is placed inside and we as surgeons will create what we call epicardial lesions that really prevent atrial fibrillation developing from the outside of the heart. And then what we do, either the same day or on another day, we'll pass a catheter through the groin and do what we call endocardial lesion sets to complete those irritable foci to try and create the most optimal outcome for controlling this irregular heartbeat. Now, one of the other advantages of the surgery is at the same time, we as surgeons can clip off the left atrial appendage through keyhole and so we can reduce the risk of stroke going forward and we know that this will prolong your life going forward. So this conversion treatment strategy is really exciting. It's something that we're really looking forward to developing more and more of within our clinical practice here at the Keyhole Heart Clinic. If you want to learn more about this topic then subscribe to the channel. We'll be publishing so many more free videos here online for you to listen to, to help you understand atrial fibrillation better, so you can talk to your local doctors about the treatment strategies that are available. And of course, if at the end of the day you want to know more about what we're doing with the treatment of atrial fibrillation using conversion therapies, give us a call and our team will be happy to help you.